Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 24 of Book of Read, and we'll be talking about books that are similar to the TV show Wednesday. Let's get going. So I wish I didn't uh, watch Wednesday, but I had like it's really really good. So I might watch it for this year Halloween, maybe. But let me know if you have watched it. So the first book is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiff. Steve Vonta, so this is like a part of a Crayon Vaughn family. Blue has spent 16 years being told that if she kisses her true love, he will die. So when she meets Gansy's spirit on a corpse road, Blue knows that either he is her true love or she has killed him. But is Gansy really her true love, the one she is destined to kill? Blue never really believed in the prophecy, but as she is caught up in the strange and sinister world of the Raven Boys, she is not so sure anymore. And I think this is also the most obvious one, and that is Mixed Prevention's Home for Peculiar Children. When Jacob finds the crumbling ruins of a home for peculiar children, it becomes clear that these kids were more than slightly off the wall. They may have been dangerous, they may have been quarantined on a deserted island for a good reason, and however impossible it seems, they might still be alive. I actually watched, watched a movie of this one. It was okay. Um, it was definitely peculiar, but it was okay. <laughs> My next one is The Honeys by Ryan LaSala. When Mars loses his sister Caroline under horrific circumstances, and propels him to attend this procedure's Aspen Conservancy, Summer Academy in her place, Mars seeks out his sister's old friends, a group of girls dubbed the honeys, they're beautiful and terrifying, and Marsh is certain they're connected to Caroline's death. And of course, my next book is Dracula by Bram Stoker. We all know the story, but in case you don't, when Jonathan Harkin visits Transylvania to help Count Dracula purchase a London house, he makes horrifying discoveries in his client's castle. And we all know what this is. <laughs> And my next book is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. And this was like the most horrifying movie I had ever seen. Like, I am not watching that movie ever again. <laughs> it honestly creeped me out. There's something strange about Caroline, Coraline's new home. It's not the Miss or the cat that always seems to be watching her. Nor the signs of danger that Miss Spink and Miss Forcible, her new neighbors, read in the tea leaves. It's the other house. The one behind the old door in the drawing room, and then the mother father with black button eyes and papery skin are waiting for Coraline to join them there. So I'm just I wonder what he was thinking when he was writing this. <laughs> it's always so terrifying. And my next book is I am actually I have heard of it and I actually want to read it. But that is House of Hunger by Alex Henderson. Mary knows that to get out of the slums she has known all her life, she will have to escape the city. When she sees a strange ad in the newspaper looking for a blood maid, she applies soon. Soon she finds herself at the House of Hunger, the newest blood maid for nobles who drink the blood of those in the service, and she becomes the muse of the powerful Countess Elizabeth. When blood maids begin to vanish without a trace, Marion must figure out who is behind it and how to survive in this new and dangerous world. The next book is, which I have already read, that is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. The Dalloway School, located in the remote Catskill Mountains, is a legendary school. It's rumored to be haunted by the Dalloway Five. Five girls who each die mysteriously on the grounds of Godwin Hall, one of the dormitories on campus. Felicity is back at school after her girlfriend's death and she wants to keep her head down and focus, but the new girl, Ellie, sweeps her into her research about the Dalloway Five. And as the girls uncover secrets about what happened all those years ago, history begins to repeat itself in unsettling and tragic ways. And my next book is Gideon the Ninth by Tennyson Mooney. Hello, well, Hello Hark of the Ninth House has been invited, along with the heirs of the other loyal houses, by the Emperor to complete in a deadly competition of smarts and kills. The winner will become immortal and all-powerful, but there's one problem. 
Hello needs a swordsman. Gideon has a sword, and she's ready to escape her life of servitude, but it won't be that easy. And Hello knows she needs Gideon if she is to prevail. Look is White Horse by Erica T. Worth. Kelly James is haunted by her mother. When she finds an old bracelet that belonged to her mother, Kelly's mother ghost is conjured, and Kelly must begin seeing strange visions when she can no longer ignore. She knows she must find the truth behind her mother's death or she may be haunted forever, but her family isn't giving up any information. As she thinks further into the truth, Kelly must come to terms with her own family's dark history that can't stay buried anymore. And this one sounds really, really interesting, so I do want to read it. And this is A Cosmology of Monsters by Sean Hamill. Noah's family runs the Wandering Dark, a famous estranged horror park, but Noah sees monsters for real. His mother and sister refuse to acknowledge them, but when Noah's sister is swallowed up by mysterious glow, things change. Noah is determined to acknowledge the monsters for what they are and get his family to do the same. My next book is The Book Eaters by Sanyi and Dean. For a circular line of people, the book eaters, consuming books is taken literally. They can eat books and retain all of its content after eating. The family is an old line of book eaters, and the one grew up eating fairy tales alongside her adventurous brothers. But when Devon's son is born with a darker and extremely rare hunger, her life is upended. He needs to consume human minds in order to survive, and Devon is faced with an impossible choice. Do the unthinkable to help her son eat, or refuse him the one thing that can satisfy his hunger. My next book is No Gods, No Monsters by Cadwell Turnbull. When Lanny, Lena hears the news that her brother was killed, it immediately looks like bl police brutality, but it, as the investigation progresses, it's clear something strange is going on, something otherworldly. Suddenly, monsters and creatures only ever in books and legends begin surfacing in the streets, from werewolves to children with magical abilities, and more people than ever are going missing as crime escalates. But the mystery of, at the heart of it all is why are the monsters coming out of the shadows now? And what will happen when the world finds out? My next book is The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Molovarsky. Major Chavez is the new student at Manchester Prep and she is automatically in love cast because she is one of the few scholarship students. When she gets caught in the prank gone wrong, a secret club, the Mary Shelley Club, Tops her to join. They only have one goal, to execute the scariest prank that will cause real fear from its victims. But soon, the spikes spiral out of control, and the members of the club find themselves being targeted instead, and Rachel realizes it's up to her to track them, who or what is hunting them. And my last book is Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Kulian. Chloe is a top student in her D.C. college, involved in the honors program and a devoted yogi. She is also a psychopath, and because of this, she is one of seven students participating in a clinical study led by a renowned psychologist who looks at the student's lack of empathy and the comparison of others' emotions. When a student is found dead in the psychology building, everyone looks at Chloe immediately, and she finds herself hunting down the real killer before she is caught in a crossfire herself. And that is all the books that I think are similar to Wednesday. Let me know if you have any other books that you think are similar to Wednesday. And please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified anytime you post. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!